Hey guys, this is Owen here with Seek Outside. Today I want to show you how to set up the new Seek Outside Guardian. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bad boy out of the bag and we're going to go ahead and find our corners here. So that's going to be marked with two yellow pieces of cordage. I'm going to go ahead and flip this tent out and find the spot I want to set it up at. I'm going to take my stake and make sure I'm set up here in the right spot. And then since we're expecting a little bit of weather, I'm just going to pull this line lock down so this tent's a bit more pitched to the ground. I'm going to drive that stake in at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to come across to the other side and since again we are expecting some weather I'm pulling that line lock a bit closer so this will sit down at the ground. I'm going to pull this straight so there's tension in the hem, drive that in at a 45 degree angle. The next side what we're going to do is essentially the exact same thing. I'm going to find this yellow cordage and I'm going to pull the tent out straight kind of aligning it with the other stakes on the other side. And so this tent uses a setback method. I'm going to flip this hem up to this upper guy out here. So I'm gonna pull it straight, flip it, and then that's where my stakes are gonna go. Again, expecting some weather, so I'm gonna tighten this down to the ground. And I'm gonna place my stake, make sure it's pretty much in line with that other stake across from me drive that into the ground and then same thing on this side you want to make sure this hems tight again so make sure you're pulling straight and then go ahead and drive that into the ground so the guardian pitches best at about 51 inches it can pitch lower and it can pitch higher but 51 seems to be about the perfect spot so I have a carbon trekking pole here and a stake what I'm gonna do is find a cone on whichever side I want to set up first. I'm going to insert the pole into the top of the cone, put my trekking pole down, and then make sure it's in the tip of the cone. I'm now going to grab my door. I'm going to pull it out fairly tight, take my stake, and drive it in here at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna repeat this for the other side. Again, taking the pole, putting it in the tip of that cone. Going ahead and pitching that up. I'm now gonna pull the door nice and tight. And drive that stake in at a 45 degree angle. As you can see with the correct pitching, you can have an extremely tight ridge line here there's not gonna be a whole lot of sagging in the tent at all. What we're gonna do from here, is go ahead and utilize these guy outs. It's a pretty essential part of the Guardian. Um, you can run it without, obviously, but you definitely get a bunch more headroom when you pull these out. Um, I like to go a bit longer. Unfortunately, we have a little bit of concrete here, so I'm just gonna shorten this guy up to about where I want it and grab a stake. With guy outs, I'd prefer to get them a little bit higher if I can, because it gives you a better guy out. As you can see, if you pull really close and down, it makes the tent a bit ugly and gives some sag. So I'm gonna pull out to here, drive that stake into the ground, and then tension as much as I would like. For here, I'm just gonna leave it a little bit loose. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. On this side, we have a lot more room to guy out our shelter. So I'm gonna pull this out about five, six feet, generally what I recommend on most guy outs. You can see there's a lot less sag because we're pulling this out over a bigger amount of terrain. I like to use a stick, if I can find one, to elevate this. It gives it a better bit of room in here as well as a tighter guy out. If your tent has a stove jack, um, it's gonna have some guy out cordage here. And this is for if the wind gets crazy and stuff, your stovepipe doesn't rattle around as much. 
Um, again, guying this out with more cordage is gonna give you a better guy out point, and that just pulls that out, makes it a bit more solid there. There's also a few extra guy outs on the Guardian. These aren't needed, um, but if you have some really bad wind or crappy weather, they can be really useful. We have them here on the door, so you can guy that out. Um, you obviously won't be able to use the door to its fullest. You also have guy outs here below the upper guy out here. And so you can really cinch that to the ground, really make this tent extremely storm worthy. Thanks for watching. I hope that you now know how to set up your new Seek Outside Guardian. If you have any questions, just let us know down in the comments and have a great day.